It's just magnificent. I don't know what to say. This is St Nicholas Church in Hohenhorn. Vaughan Smith has tracked a part of his own family history to this small town east of Hamburg. It's a moment he's long been waiting for. He's finally sitting where an ancestor of his played the organ nearly 200 years ago. Um, to sit up at the organ and to, to touch the keys, to, to sit on the seat and just to see the view that he saw every Sunday is mind-blowing. In 1819, Vaughan Smith's great-great-great-grandfather, August Friedrich Hoch, took up his post here as organist and teacher. Vaughan Smith and his wife, Noelle, have come to Germany from Australia. A local historian had already sifted through church documents for references to his ancestors. Among them is a transcription of pages from the baptismal records. Hulk, yeah, organist. Andrea Benschneider is a genealogist. She's been helping with the research and even accompanied the Smiths to other locations around northern Germany. It has been a wonderful... The way leads along tree-lined roads across the northern plains to Ratzeburg, a well-known spa town in the midst of a lake. Another of Vaughan Smith's ancestors was born here. <laughs> Andrea Benschneider has helped many people research their family trees. Dadurch, dass Deutschland ja auch eine bunte Geschichte hat und es so viele verschiedene Einzelstaaten gab, also weit lange bevor es die Bundesländer jetzt gibt, gab es halt eben auf jeder regionalen Ebene andere Regelungen, andere Quellen. Und das muss man halt wissen, wo liegen die, wo gehe ich hin, wo besorge ich das? Und das ist dann halt meistens, warum wir kontaktiert werden und gefragt werden, dass das wir eben helfen. Vaughan Smith visits the Ratzeburg Cathedral. His ancestor is certain to have been inside this Romanesque brick church. The journey into the past continues. The next stop is the little town of Zarentin on Lake Charlesey. Vaughan Smith's great-great-great-grandmother lived here. Sarentin is known for its abbey church, the abbey ruins, and a nearly 700-year-old linden tree. A foreign country suddenly feels a bit more like home. Um, I love the buildings. You know, I love the homes yeah, and the roads. Getting used to cobblestones. What do you think? I, I love the countryside, the greenery of it yeah. compared to Australia. Mm. Um, the whole different nature of the vegetation and how it all fits together and the homes just look so picturesque, mm. I guess. It's a lovely, although the land's flat, it is picturesque and, and really beautiful to, to look at and to see. The Australian couple's journey across northern Germany ends in Hamburg. Here they visit the Ballenstadt Emigration Museum, it's housed in the very same halls tens of thousands of Germans passed through from 1901 onward on their way to new lives overseas. The museum includes a research centre where anyone can go through the passenger lists looking for clues to their family's history. Vaughan Smith draws a blank. But he knows that one of his ancestors went to England, probably from Hamburg. So now the couple are off to England.